dan po sa lahat. Uh, topic natin is yin and yang, the duality of all things. Okay, uh, yin and yang, the quality and the unity of oppose, opposites. So first, uh, the meaning of yin and yang symbol. There is duality in everything. Dito sa yang, we have the male energy. Kung para sa yin, we have the female energy. Sa yang is ano, active, while the yin naman is passive. Sa yang, we have the light, while... Uh, sige, dito ba na sa yang, uh, male energy, active, and we have light. Next, we have dominating. It is strong. Uh, we have movement, hot, and expanding. Kumpara sa yin, we have the female energy, passive siya, intuitive, creative, dark, stillness, cold, and contracting. Yung outer silk circle represent the universe and everything in it. While the smaller silk, ito pong nasa loob, represents that everything carries the seed of its opposite. Okay. Sa, sa yin, uh, compared po sa yang, we have, sa yin, we have gold and sa yang, hot. Sa yin, we have passive, active naman sa yang. Ang yin is wet while the yang is dry, which is pwedeng yin deficient. Yung yin is represent ng night while yung yang is day. Yung yin is solid, hollow naman sa yang. Yung yin is also dull while sa yang we have bright and severe. While sa yin, constant, and the yang is changing. Sa yin, we have the descending, baba, kumpara naman sa yang, which is pataas, ascending. Yung yin is contracting, pa, pasok, paloob, while the yang naman is dispersing, pa, palabas. Yung yin is nutrition, while the yang is protection. Ang yin is the substance, while the yang naman is the function. Okay, here the, sa picture, yung yang natin dito is the sun. Kumpara naman sa yin, we have the moon. Yung, yung yang is fire, while the yin is water. Yung yang is going upward. While naman yung yin is pababa, uh, dry, and the yin is wet, day sa yang, and night naman sa yin. Ang yang is summer, while winter naman sa yin. So yung yang dito sa symbol, we have the light, while the yin is dark. Sa yin and yang naman, uh, one extreme will always change into its opposite so that the extreme yang turns into yin and vice versa. So, paikot lang po. Ang yin and yang consumes and support each other and are usually held in balance. As one increases, the other decreases. The concept of yin and yang originates in ancient Chinese philosophy and metaphysics which describes two primal op opposing but complementary forces found in all things in the universe. Yin, the darker element, is passive, dark, feminine, downward-seeking, and corresponds to the night. Yang, the brighter element, is active, light, masculine, upward-seeking, and corresponds to the day. Yin and yang are complementary opposites rather than absolutes. 
most forces in nature can be broken down into its respective yin and yang states. And the two are usually in movement rather than held in absolute stasis. So gumagalaw po siya. So we have more uh, pictures with sample. Ang yin, uh, is, an example is heavy while yung yang is light. Ang yin naman sa next picture is the front while yung yang is the back. Yung next picture naman, yung yang is light, yung ilaw, while ang yin is dark. Next, yung yin is water and yung yang naman is fire. Next picture, we have the yang, yung white, and yung black naman, yung yin. Ang next, yung yin is moon and the yang is sun. Dito sa may baba, next picture, yung yang is masculine while the yin is feminine. Next naman is yung yang is hot while the yin is cold. Next picture, yung yin is down while the yang is up. The clinical symptoms according to yin and yang for differential diagnosis. So, ang yin is cold kumpara naman sa yang which is heat. Ang yin, feeling cold, symptoms of disease worsen with cold and improves with heat. Uh, pale or blue complexion, while kumpara naman sa yang, ang symptoms niya is having inflammation, feeling hot, symptoms of disease worsen with heat and improves with cold. Uh, and meron siyang red complexion. Next on yin is passive while the yang is active. Next, sa yin, hypoactive organ, example, uh, bradycardia, dull, introverted person, and symptoms worsen during rest and improving during activity. So yan ang yin. While sa yang, Hyperactive ang organ, example yung tachycardia, restless, extroverted person, and yung symptoms worsen during activity and improving during rest. Next sa uh, yin, uh, it is wet while the yang is dry. Ang yin, example yung edema, mucus, excess fluid. Symptoms that worsen in humid weather and improves in dry weather. While sayang, yung deficient yin, uh, there is dryness of skin, hair, mucous membranes. May brittleness of nails, tendon, and bones. And yung symptoms worsen in dry weather and improve in humid weather. Ang yin naman is night while the yang is day. Ang yin, symptoms that starts in the evening and worsen through the night and are better in the daytime. While kumpara sa yang, symptoms that starts in the morning and worsen up to, the, up to noon then improves in the evening. Ang yin is descending while the yang is ascending. Sa yin, symptoms that manifest initially in the lower body, example yung perineum, or limbs like the legs and feet, example meron siyang edema, joint pain, etc. While sa yang, symptoms that manifest initially in the highest part of the body, example nito yung head and neck, or yung limbs, uh, yung arms and hands. Example, hot flashes, neck tension, headache, etc. Yung yin is contracting while the yang is dispersing. Sa yin, may movement from outward to inward. May climatic factors causing internal symptoms such as joint pain and arthritis in cold weather. There is cramp, may muscle tension in cold weather, and meron siyang contracted or hunch appearance. 
Kung para naman sa yang, may movement from inward to outward. Example yung sweating. Meron din siyang extension or arcing back of his to tonus. Meron siyang interior causes showing external symptoms like urticaria after eating selfish. Sa yin, uh, nutrition, while the yang is protection. Ang yin, nutritional state of tissue, um, meron siyang thin, fragile skin. Yung lang yin, pababa or konti, thick and oily skin. Yung lang yin naman, pataas. Sa yang, there is immune system recurrent infection. Worst if climate is often changing as a respiratory infection. This would mean that uh, protection is poor. Sa yin, we have the substance and the yang is for function. Sa yin, thickness of hair, skin, body weight, quantity of food, mucus, stool, urine, anything that could be quantified. An example nito is increased mucus, lang yin, increase, increased head hair, and kidney yin deficiency pababa. Sayang, this, there is hyper or hypofunction of organs. There is frequent and urgent stool, large intestine function, pataas or increase, and decreased urination and edema, kidney function is decreased. According, okay. So next. So according to this categorization, the patient could be diagnosed to have a yin dominant or yang dominant disease. Sa yin, if one wakes from sleep at night with a bad headache, this would be a yin dominant headache. Kumpara naman sa yang, a backache that worsens when being active and improves when lying still in bed is a yang dominant backache. Sa yin, less urination and a full bladder as in hypertrophy of the prostate gland is a yin dominant state with a poor function of the bladder. Sa yang naman, excessive stress and insufficient sleep could produce a yang dominant tachycardia. Sa yin, osteoarthritis of the hip joint with pain at rest and morning stiffness that improves slowly over the day is a yin dominant condition. While sa yang, there is hip pain which is better during and after rest and worsen when waking and being active. This would be a yang dominant pain. Sa yin, there is cough and asthmatic breathing, worsening at night and in damp cold weather. With excessive protein, white mucus is a yin dominant disease. While sa yang, a typical seasonal asthma with dry cough and bronchospasm, worse on exposure to pollen or animals is yang dominant in nature. 